Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to make a golf themed chef's knife. Now one of my friend's wife uh, commissioned me to make a knife for him and we came up with the idea of doing a golf themed knife. Uh, it's a little bit out of my uh, comfort zone but I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, this video is really just going to do an overview. Um, I, I had a custom logo made for him and I etched that onto the blade. I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on the etching. I've done a, a hundred etching videos. This one was done the same way. Uh, Self-adhesive vinyl that was cut out on a Silhouette Cameo vinyl cutting machine. And then I used a automotive car battery charger um, along with an electrolyte solution of white wine, vinegar, and salt, an electroplate. And I etched 12 volts, 2 amps, a total of 3 minutes in, in 15 or 20 second in intervals. Um, like I said, if you're interested in the metal etching, definitely uh, check out one of my how-to videos on that. For this video, I really wanted to go into how I was going to end up making the, the golf ball themed handles. I, I've never done anything like this before. I started by casting two thin scales. Uh, I cast them out of Total Boat's uh, thick set resin um, and I let those dry completely. I mixed them with a little bit of white uh, dye and let them dry completely. Then I used a Dremel tool um, with a round bit in it and I was able to hold uh, the depth constant with a router attachment for that. I put some paper uh, pattern and taped it on and I just very meticulously and, and very carefully uh, you know, drilled a divot at each one of those uh, hole locations. Uh, this took a little while. <laughs> you know, you, you had to have a nice bright light otherwise my, my eyes got a little fuzzy. But the end result is it actually came out kind of looking like a golf ball pattern. Uh, which is what I wanted. I didn't want the finished knife to have divots that would hold dirt. I want this to be a daily use knife. So I went back uh, to the Total Boat Fix Set resin. I mixed it up. This is, uh, you know, three parts of the resin, one part of the hardener. Um, you mix it slowly for five minutes. It's a very thin resin. It takes a long time to cure, so it allows plenty of time for the bubbles uh, to reach the surface. So you usually end up with beautiful uh, castings. This, these are the finished scales or handle material. I glued those onto some black liners and after they dried overnight I was able to trim off the excess with my bandsaw and then I started working on uh, the belt grinder. I form the front of the handles first. Um, it's really hard. I want to actually polish those so I'll run through a bunch of belts. I'll run it down to about uh, I think it was 400 grit and then I polished them. You can't polish them once they're mounted to the, to the blade. I then taped the blade to both handles in position and used the blade itself as a drill guide to drill the pinholes. This way the pinholes go right through you know, all three pieces, the blade and both handles. Then I used uh, epoxy resin and I glued up uh, both sides of the handle material as well as the blade and as well as the pins and I, I assembled I assembled that and then I actually uh, clamped those together and let them dry overnight. I wiped off any excess from the blade with some alcohol wipes. After they were dry, I was able to trim off the excess material back on the bandsaw. And then I went back to the um, belt grinder to finish profiling the, the handles. And again, a lot of this is very similar to, to a bunch of other videos that I've done. I actually start to curve uh, the handles inward right on the belt sander. Um, it's a very efficient way of doing it, but you have to be really careful not to touch the blade to the belt because you could, you could ruin a project in a heartbeat. I used the, the uh, lower contact wheel to start to shape the inside curves. And then I use an oscillating sander. Uh, I start with a 400 grit and then go to a 600, a 1000, and a 2000. And after each um, different grit paper, I'll use that same grit to hand sand just to make sure that I, everything is smooth. And all of the, uh, you know, the deeper scratches from higher grits are completely removed. You know, the final step in the process is to sharpen the knife. You know, I start with 120 grit and then I go all the way up to 2,000 grit uh, before I switch over to a, uh, a leather stroking belt. And the end result is a, literally a razor sharp knife. I, I actually did a whole video on sharpening. The finished product. I think it came out pretty cool and definitely one of a, one of a kind. I don't think I've ever seen a golf themed knife before. Uh, but golf ball uh, textured handles or scales uh, 
courtesy Total Boat Thick Set Resin uh, with, a, with a really nice um, custom logo etched onto the blade. Even got a beer mug in the back of the golf cart. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love to hear feedback in the feedback section. Um, you can check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com as well as my website, uh, BergKnifeMaking.com. And I'd like to give you an, uh, an invitation to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. You can also check out the book that Jason Northgott and I put out a couple years ago called Introduction to Knife Making. And you can find that on Amazon.com. Thank you.